One of the changes that happens to girls during puberty is that they start releasing eggs from their ovaries and they start having a period. All of this is linked to something called the menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle is a 28 day cycle. The length of the cycle can vary between months and can vary between individuals. On average it is 28 days. The first stage of the cycle between day one and day four is called menstruation and this is when the girl will have a period. During the period the uterus lining breaks down and blood leaves through the vagina. After the period the uterus lining then builds up again. And around day 14 is when you have ovulation. This means the release of an egg. During ovulation, one egg is released from one of the ovaries. After ovulation, the uterus lining is maintained and kept thick up until day 28. And then the cycle will start again. And this cycle will repeat for every 28 days from when the girl starts to have her first period. The menstrual cycle and monitoring of the menstrual cycle is important for women that want to get pregnant. Having sexual intercourse around day 14 means that the egg may become fertilised by the man's sperm and the woman may become pregnant. Pregnancy will stop the menstrual cycle, the uterus lining will remain thick and the woman will not have a period. Contraception is something that prevents pregnancy. There are many different types of contraception Two of the most common are the contraceptive pill and condoms. Condoms are barrier methods of contraception. They are worn over the man's penis and prevent his sperm from entering the woman's vagina. Condoms can also prevent the transfer of sexually transmitted diseases. Contraceptive pills are a hormonal method of contraception. The woman must remember to take the pill every day for it to be effective. The pill releases hormones which prevents the release of an egg. The pill does not offer any protection against sexually transmitted diseases. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos, as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.